Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Uh, today I want to talk about my auto hockey macro. And if you're not familiar with this, this is the macro I use to switch to my MF gear practically instantly. Um, it's just a just ease of use. Uh, it makes it a little easier if you're changing your gear right before a kill and things like that. You just got to note that sometimes your HP plummet, so you might not want to always switch depending on the scenario. But it's pretty convenient, and I'll give you a demonstration of the two different versions I have. I have one where it moves your mouse and one that doesn't move your mouse. In some situations, I am told that uh, the one that doesn't move the mouse doesn't work. Um, it only works if you run full screen windowed mode. But here's a demonstration of the two. The first one where it moves your mouse and the other one that doesn't move your mouse. Alright, see as you can tell, very easy. It does it automated. Um, you don't have to click. It, very nice. So to do this, um, you'll have to download my script. Um, I put it up um, a link in the below the video, and you also have to download a program called Auto Hotkey. You just go to AutoHotkey.com, click the download Auto Hotkey, and install it. Very simple. If you want the portable zip version, they have that as well. Very easy. So after you install that, um, there's one thing very important that you have to look at and that is where your items are located. Because my window is uh, 1680 by 1050, the location of my items is different from yours. Uh, I don't know, the program crashed. But when you, after you install it, you'll start this auto it through Windows Spy, and uh, it is going to tell you where all your items are. So, as you can tell here at the bottom left, or at the bottom right, uh, my bottom left item is at 1196 by 805 position. Um, you can see that under the mouse position over here, and you can do that for all your items. This is very important uh, because the script relies on where your items are placed in order to work. So if we look at the script, what it does is it randomly selects an, a location in each box. And so in order to get the right uh, area for it to find out, you have to put your cursor at the far left of an item to get the x-axis. Like see here, it's like 1187 on screen, and I over here at this for the first bottom slot one, I have 1188 as my left side, and on the right side, I have mm, 1226, so I put 1225, and the top of the item uh, around 765 is what I put for safety, and the bottom was 843 is what I put. So what it randomly does is selects a, a x coordinate in between those two values for the first one and a y coordinate. So it'll randomly click in here each time. It's a different click. This is to prevent like um, Blizzard from maybe catching on you like repeated actions of the same thing. Because whenever you click the item yourself, you're not going to click the same spot every time. So it's trying to mimic that. Um, and you just do this for every item. You get the left and the right because the verticals, uh, the y axis is going to stay the same. So you get the left of this item, which I found is 1235, and the right is like 1274 is what I put. And so I just do that for every item. But for this, uh, the rings and stuff, you got to make sure you get the top and the bottom for the small section, and the top and the bottom for the small section. And that's here in the um, thing as well. You can see slot 9, 9 across, the top one, it was 765 to 795 instead of the 843. Um, and I just did that for the, both these and just recycled those numbers because it's the same, the top and the bottom are the same over here. And so you just, once you do that, um, that's pretty much it for setting up the coordinates. Some other important things to note is what key opens up your inventory. I have my key is B, so that's the key that opens up my inventory. Uh, how you start the macro is currently with this version is Control S. Um, so you hit Control S. I have the other versions like Control D. Um, so you hit Control S or Control D, depending. You can change this to whatever you want. So uh, if you want Control like X, you could have that, and you just put a caret and then the X. If you want Alt, you put exclamation mark X or whatever you want. Or Shift, you put a plus sign then the S, and that chooses what key you want it to be. Um, if you want like S and D, you just put like a D on there. Um, very very simple. Um, and I think just make sure you put your rings in slot 9 because uh, it has to press down the ALT key uh, to equip to the second slot. Um, just guys, you guys just give it a whirl I guess. Um, my numbers like I said are for 1680 by 1050 so you have to find them out by yourself but like I just showed you it should be very easy. Hopefully this guys helps you change your MF gear in and out quick.
quickly and efficiently, and don't die doing it. I'll see you guys later.